Welcome to Vulnerable Relationships. I, 29, female, have three boys, a teen and two tweens, with my husband, 29. One of my younger sisters, 22, is marrying her fiancé, 21, male, later this year. I love my sister with all of my heart. However, she can be a bit of a perfectionist and has been adding and removing wedding rules to fit whatever best serves her ideal wedding. Some rules that have been added have been reasonable, like trying to limit phone usage and limit the amount of drinking. However, some of the rules have been pretty extreme. For time she had a no makeup rule before removing it, and she wanted to limit other people's dresses and suits to certain companies, etc. As a result, her fiancé and others have had to try to reason with her at times. Our middle son is non-gender conforming. He's always been on the feminine side, including doing ballet in certain mannerisms and expressions of himself. However, he still wears normal boy clothes usually, and he still identifies as male. We don't know what his identity will be yet. He hasn't discussed any crushes with us. He could be straight, but it's possible he's not. My sister recently came up to me and asked what he was wearing. We were looking at several options at the time, and I showed them to her. One of the ones my son had saved in his phone was a pink suit and vest combo. When my sister saw it, I could see she wasn't a fan. I asked her what the problem was, assuming she'd say something like the suit was too bright or could take attention away from her and her fiancé. However, she told me the suit could make him look gay, and that she wanted my son to try to act more masculine because some of our family members are conservative, and she didn't want them to get upset at the thought of a feminine boy. She said she didn't care if he was gay, but to act straight for the wedding because if he was too feminine, it could cause a scene. At this point, I was texting some of our siblings because I didn't know how to respond to that and felt like I needed advice. They tried to mitigate the situation, but their interventions made it worse. Finally, my sister messaged me saying he could just act straighter for one day and said she'd do something to make it up to him after the wedding. I told her she was being crazy and that I wouldn't comply with that demand, and told her if she didn't stop, I wouldn't come to her wedding. I texted her and told her to look at herself and what she's become. She got very offended. I don't think she has malicious intentions, but I believe her perfectionism in not wanting a scene at her wedding is getting the best of her. Some of my siblings are saying my response was in the right, while others are waffling in between positions. Am I the idiot? Comments Comment 1. No, 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 not the idiot. Your sister's comments are awful. Period. It's not your sister's prerogative to police what your child wears, especially when he's planning to wear a suit. If he wanted to wear a T-Rex costume or was planning to attend in pajamas, then I can understand her being annoyed given the event is a formal wedding. But a suit. That happens to be pink. I don't see any problems there. Your child is expressing himself, and you're being a supportive mom. Your sister's hiding behind other family members as per your story. But it's her comments that are prejudicial. She could support her nephew and be proud of him, but instead, she's putting a little boy down. I hope it all works out, OP. I hope you all get to enjoy your sister's big day, if she gets off of her high horse. Comment 2. Your sister is exhausting. You call her a perfectionist and the actual term is an idiot. She was trying to prohibit guests from wearing makeup. Ah, uh, what? Why does she think she has any right to ask people to behave in a manner that's contrary to how they normally are or what they can and can't apply to their faces, just because of her wedding? Screw her wedding. Let her get married in an empty room with only the sound of her ego blaring, and stop minimizing her behavior by calling her a perfectionist. Thanks for watching the video. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing. See you in the next video.